Hello Divine Feminines! I have my camcorder working again so I can do overhead videos. I can do them for longer than 33 minutes and 12 seconds, so good deal. Oops, I forgot those last two cards from Masculines. <coughs> oh! <coughs> am I done? <coughs> okay, now am I done? Okay. Anyway, I might not be done. But, yeah, so, we're going to be doing your reading. It's early, I know, but, like, I'm not doing the Zodiacs this week, so, let's be looking at what's going on with you guys. Yay. I prefer to do them with the camcorder anyway, but that's just me. Okay. Divine Feminine, let's see what's going on with you. Oh, look at you all in your empressness. Right? You're just straight up like, fuck commitment. I'm good. This <laughs> is. Oh, you still have this shit in your mind, though? And you're not. I feel like you're not entirely sure. What was it that I told you last time? Um, don't go around fighting people or whatever it is. Like, just. Don't throw your throat at people if they piss you off. I think you're still dealing with this a little bit. And you're trying to mentally work through it. Princess of Cups. King of Cups. Ooh, look at that. That's the counterpart. I don't know which one's which when it comes to you. Uh, three of Pentacles. Okay, that might be masculine. Right there, with the three of pentacles right underneath of him. This motherfucker might come back to you. I'm just letting you know. I think I told you that last time, too. Because it looks like he and Karmic are not on the best of terms. You're still having a hard time moving forward anyway. That's your vibration, Divine Feminine. Eight of Cups reverse. You're having a really hard time letting this shit go. Still. Like, you've done... Like, I'm sure some of you... At least one or two of you have done covered card cord cutting spells. You like sage the fuck out of your house to where like the neighbors have called the fire department at least three fucking times. You're trying to get his stink out your house, trying to forget him. You've burned everything that reminds you of him. You stop listening. It's a fucking slipknot. Because he got your shirt from Hot Topic from there once that you absolutely love. Like you're doing everything you can just to forget this motherfucker just be like, fuck it, God, because this could be God right here you're talking to, right? If you believe in so God, if not the universe, source, higher beings, whatever it is you want to refer to, it. I'm just calling God. You're just like, fuck that God. I don't need him. He doesn't make me happy anyway. It's... Bastard smells like cheese anymore. He ain't washed his ass. <laughs> and who knows how long. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Divine Feminines. You got the Empress off the bat. You are yourself, and you're ready to take off somewhere, apparently. You're ready to go. Like, you want to go. You're still stuck in that old energy. Um, with... <clears throat> but you're still kind of like, I still want that idiot. It's just pissing me off now to where I want to leave, and he doesn't find me. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you are just ready to go. I think that you're ready to move forward, but, like, you're still willing to go back. Not as enthusiastically, but you're still willing to go back, Divine Feminine. With this Hierophant, could be Taurus you're dealing with as well. Also, you could be Libra, Taurus, and um, Aries in this. Right here, you could be Aries, Leo... Taurus, right? Just because of that um, Hierophant. Well, no, this is the Hierophant, so not Aries, but still. Taurus for sure, and definitely Leo, just because they're the whatchamacallers, right? Um, this is talking about lack of commitment, excommunication of sorts, bad things. Um, not taking a leap of faith towards this non-commitment right here, because it just is, it just is fulfilling. You, you, like, no, 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 no. I'm not even gonna waste my time. That's what you say to yourself when you think about 
actually going and dealing with this shit, this kind of divorce. Yeah, no, you, you, no, no, don't do it. It, it, it. Like this is basically like you're fine by yourself, but if you go back to this um relationship right here, it's just gonna be the same shit all over again, and it's gonna leave you even worse off than you did last time. Don't go searching for divine masculine. Don't do it. Fuck, he could be Queen of Swords. He could be the one that's all out of element. Like, he had Queen of Swords before, and she was kind of like a threat to me. Now she's reversed, so it's definitely like threat. <laughs> it's definitely like that bitch will hurt anybody when she's reversed. She's a scorned ass bitch. Both she and the King of Swords, both Libra, Gemini, Aquarius are out here. One just is incapable of making logical decisions that may or may not threaten safety, while the other one is just sitting there emotionless, like, expecting some answers, looking for some truth. Sicking monkeys on motherfuckers, right? We have the Ten of Swords up here, reverse. Someone just, it, it's like someone's reliving the betrayal in their head over and over again. Could be Mr. Stinky McStinker Pants. Uh, who definitely should have been way, way more mature and was not. In fact, like, acted way more childish than he did a ruler. Um, now he's, like, pretty much left out in the cold, wanting to come back in. And I think you recognize this. I think you feel it. Like, he, he walked away and now it's like he's walking on the streets all, like, a bum and shit. Wanting to come back in the church or wherever the fuck it is you're at, trying to be welcomed back. Yeah, because it's kind of like the hierophant deals with the community too. Um, what is like if you if you haven't watched her, the Ghetto Nun, she is a excellent, beautiful tarot reader. Oh my god, she's like my favorite person ever. She calls it like the college, and she talks about God a lot too. She's not religious, but she is a ghetto ass nun, right? And she talks about this, and it's like, this could be like, the like, God's all mad because he knows how this shit's gonna come out, and now, like, someone's looking in at the college doors, like she says. So that's what he could be doing, he's just, like, trying to look in, trying to find your ass. Just being like, where's my baby? Oh, she's your baby now. Okay. Now she's your baby. Now she's your baby. <laughs> After all this shit, now she's your baby. Okay. I don't know. I, I end up, like, scolding Divine Masculine every time I do a reading for him, and I don't mean to, but it's just kind of like, it's so frustrating not to just be like, look, dude, this is what you gotta do. It is, like, I, I, I can only imagine how his guide, spirits, whatever they are, feel. Look at him! He wants off! <laughs> this fucking guy. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Like, oh god, yeah, okay. Like, he's expecting pity. Like, he's totally expecting pity right here. Like, totally... Like, you know that he will come back. You know. But right now, it's not the time for him to come back, because it's not good. Um, you're still dealing with all the shit that he's done to you, as per the Eight of Cups in your vibration right here you're still dealing with what he's done and he still hasn't like been dealing with the karma accordingly right he is on the side over here with the justice reverse card could be dealing with libra or libra could be in here somewhere um you could be the libra and this is just like uh, -uh no 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 after all this shit you've done definitely not and it's like he's it's like he's coming back because his piggy bank got stalled like, like I told him that. I was, and I, like I literally said in his video, like you better not be coming back for money. But look at it. It's like you're the one in control of the funds, and like all that shit stopped. Or this was the karmic, and she had the power of the money. Well, he's sitting there begging, and now look, he's coming for some. I love me some begging strips, you know. I got some shea. It's a dead fish, but it tastes like begging strips, you know? Like, that. Like it's like he's doing that. Like, you're still dealing with all of that shit in your head and in your heart. And you're def and I think you are feeling a little bit illogical about it. With the Queen of Swords down here reverse. But once again, um, when Divine Mask got the Queen of Swords, she was upright, but she felt like a threat. Uh, not really sure what to do. Doesn't know how to, like, you, it's kind of like you don't know how to deal with this whole situation. It still makes you cry, but not physically, just spiritually. It makes your soul ache. 
If you would love for this guy to come back to you, but you know... If he comes back for the wrong reasons, he's gonna show up all immature and shit. You know he's not gonna come up for the right stuff. Like, you know... Like, your emotions are all kind of torturing you, even though you know you gotta go. Like, you gotta leave. Like, there's a fire back here, right? That's of anxiety, emotional stress, and mental anguish that you're about to just fall off of. And it's just not good for you. Like, you gotta take off from that. But, and you gotta try not to think about how things have come out because you're about to start a brand new cycle. You can feel that shit. Everyone around you can feel that shit. And it's kind of time for you to pretty soon let your guard down. I'm just not sure what. I think you're going to figure out when this new cycle begins. Like, I think you're going to feel it. Yeah. I got the Ten of Swords right here. This little book. Ah, oh, actually Ten of Wands, but Ten of Swords reverse right here. It's a burden to get rid of all of this pain. Still dealing with the betrayal in the back of your head. You have the right judgment call when it comes to how things went down, though, when it came to you in Divine Masculine. Because it was like, I don't know if I want this dude anymore. It's kind of a dick. Kind of a dick. With a capital D. Like, and you're running away, not even trying to worry about what cup you give away, either. Like, you're not giving any cups away. You're just worried about how to get out of this fiery wooded area. And you have your guard up against anybody who's trying to start anything new, either. Yeah, it's time to release that. Divine Feminine. It's time for you to just understand that the people that surround you probably aren't the best company to keep, and you probably need new ones. You probably need people who will inspire and motivate you and not just dower you down. You know. You want to open up again, but it's like... You know your emotions are a pain in the ass, but you have the right idea about things going on, okay? Like, you're not so lost in the woods where you don't know what's going on. King of Cups popped up for a second. Yeah, you're definitely... You're ready to shoot back some truth at anybody from your past. And you're gearing up to just move forward. You are just moving forward. You aren't worried about shit. Now we got the King of Swords down here, counterparts of the Queen of Swords. Could be masculine? I don't think so, though. I really, I don't think that's him. That is way too mature for him right now. <laughs> I think this is you in your masculine element. Element. One of these isn't would be able to talk correctly. I swear. But yeah, like is someone looking for truth. There was another ace here, was there? No, I don't think so. Ooh. Yeah, you're definitely crafting your shit up. You're weighing things correctly. Could be Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, you standing in your truth, Divine Feminine, has your guides working overtime to get you where you need to go. Like, you definitely have karma on your side. A lot of good karma. But you're still surrounded by all these people who really don't give a fuck about you. You have this big-ass pentacle. Queen of Pentacles has the biggest pentacle in his entire motherfucking deck, right? Hell, the Queen of Pentacles typically has the biggest pentacle in all, most decks, too, even in my Rider Waite deck. Um, she typically has the biggest one. But you are surrounded by people who do not understand the grace and the elegance and the dedication you took to make that fucking pentacle. And they all just sit there like, oh yeah, that's nice, you did something great again. It, like, fuck these people, man. Why are you surrounded by these people? 
Why do you need these people? Why, like, look, sit, three of pentacles reverse, right? Someone's hanging off the, their pentacle or whatever. Someone's trying to hang off of possibly you, divine feminine. Like, motherfuckers be fighting over you and shit. And it's like, you gotta let them go and run the fuck away. Like, everyone in, it's almost, yeah, like, it's just like, screw this relationship and any other relationships or any association to church, tradition, community, peoples, um, co-workers, whatever. I am done. I'm just letting it go. I feel like you're letting it go and you're just trying to get away from everybody. It's just really hard because it feels like you're just stuck in this element while everything in the past is still going on right behind you. You want to move forward, but it feels like you're frozen in your tracks and you're trying to find a way of getting out. So yeah, that's what you're going to be dealing with for a minute. This is still my next reading for you, Divine Feminines. Um, you guys try to take it easy. Don't lose your brain because everyone's driving you nuts. Alright, bye-bye.